And you should see the horrible things that Talib has said about Israel. And AOC plus three, that's what I call it. AOC, just take AOC plus three. And you should see the things that the four of them have said about Israel over the last couple of years. I mean, Omar is a disaster for Jewish people. I can't imagine if she has any Jewish people in her district that they could possibly vote for. And then yesterday, I noticed for the first time, Talib with the tears. All of a sudden, she starts with tears, tears. And I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second, because I've seen her in a very vicious mood at campaign rallies, my campaign rallies, before she was a congresswoman. I said, who is that? And I saw a woman that was violent and vicious and out of control. And all of a sudden, I see this person who's crying because she can't see her grandmother. She can see her grandmother. They gave her permission to see her grandmother, but she grandstanded and she didn't want to do it. That's a decision of, of Israel. They can let them in if they want, but I don't think they want to. When you read the things that they've said about Israel, how bad, and if you look at their itinerary before they found out, you take a look at their itinerary, that was all going to be a propaganda tour against Israel. So I don't blame Israel for doing what they did. I have nothing to do with it, but I don't blame them for doing what they did. I think it would have been very bad to let them in. Where has the Democratic Party gone? Where have they gone where they're defending these two people over the state of Israel? And I think any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat uh, I think it shows either a total lack of knowledge or great disloyalty.